Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley P. Deck and today we'll be doing a beginner friendly start to finish install. This one comes courtesy of Kalai Hair and they sent over this beautiful curly unit. I did take her to the sink and do a little co-wash to kind of make the curls pop. And then you'll see me do the styling and prep process on the mannequin head. You guys already know if you really, really, really want your wig to look super professional, do everything, all the work that you can on the mannequin head before you bind it down. Just having both hands and both eyes and just being able to look over the wig and really 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 you know style it definitely is a plus and it definitely in my opinion just comes out a little bit better than when we install on our heads let me know what you guys think of this one I think she's absolutely gorgeous the curl definition the install everything about her is absolutely chef's kiss 10 out of 10 so without further ado go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and now let's get into the video Jumping right into it, this is what the wig looks like on straight out of the box. I was sitting here trying her on for size. I wanted to see what style I would do and ultimately I did decide to wash and condition her off camera. This is the curl pattern and what she looks like straight out of the box. And then this is what she looks like once you give her a nice wash and condition. I did use the Tresemme Duo, the Moisture Rich, I believe is what it's called. I'll have it linked in the description box, but this is it after a good towel dry. I went ahead and placed it on my mannequin head and proceeded to customize so today I did go in and lightly tweeze out the hairline as you guys can see it's already pre-plucked so not much work was needed but I definitely just wanted to go in and give it a special touch I do love when I go ahead and prep my wigs on a mannequin head this is how I get the most flawless install sometimes i forget how amazing and what a huge difference it is to do these few steps before applying the wig so i highly recommend you invest in one of these wig heads as well as a tripod and just make sure you just give your wigs a little tlc especially if you're going to be spending a lot of time with your unit so after i went ahead and tweezed out the hairline i did pull forward a little bit of hair and i was just deciding if i wanted to do baby hair or not i created a center part because we are going to do a bust down center part and then I just decided to make a lot of baby hair like around the entire perimeter and I just sectioned it off and just you know squared it away now I want to work on the length of the hair this is one of my favorite parts when I prep a wig in advance I love to go in with the mousse Nairobi happens to be my favorite and I'm very generous I like to apply a good amount and just really go in with the mousse paired with a Denman brush and really really make those curls pop you can see how beautiful this curl pattern is the sheen the texture everything is amazing when you do the step you guys did see what the wig looked like straight out of the box and there was no issue with the curl but this just makes it you know flawless so now that we've done that let's go ahead and make sure everything else is perfect you guys know the dynamic duo is one of my favorite steps just in general i use the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb and i just go around the perimeter of the hairline as well as the perimeter of the parting really making sure i stamp it out and make it as thin and just neat and just flawless and just perfect as possible this step really really makes the wig look like it's melted once we got that set i went ahead and took all that baby hair we separated and i just trimmed it down super short not necessarily caring about like the length all being uniform kind of wanted to be a few different lengths just to kind of give it a more jagged look first i added some mousse just to kind of wet the hair and then i went in with the edge control around the entire like base of the baby hair and as I did so I kind of started to just kind of pull the hair start to um tame it in the directions that I wanted it to go when I found pieces that were too long I definitely went in and trimmed them and as you guys can see I don't want like perfect swoops or curls I don't want it to go in one uniform direction I kind of want all the hair to go in different ways and pieces that I found were too thick I kind of just sent some of the hair back into the rest of the unit and I really love the way it came out it wasn't too thin it wasn't too thick it gave very natural and you'll see what that looks like once we install the wig so this is what she looks like after she's kind of set for maybe about an hour I kind of just left her on the wig head and just proceeded to do a few other things I think I did my makeup and you know a couple of things for my kids but now it's time to install so you guys know i have been 
pretty adamant about using the Mayel drops. These ones are so viral on TikTok and just all over social media. And I believe it's like rosemary mint. When I first got it, I was consistent and I was applying it like every single day that I filmed. I did get sick. I know you guys kind of kind of hear it in my voice. I'm kind of recovering, so excuse my voice, but I did take maybe about a week off and I'm back to it. But I do notice that between that and just taking my hair vitamins and my hairline, definitely is filling in and coming back to like pre baby pre all of these days also i did go ahead and just go ahead and tint the lace you guys can see how warm the lace looks now i did use that makeup by mario foundation that i showed you guys on tiktok it definitely was a perfect match and this is what the hair looks like on as i mentioned i did go ahead and let it set for maybe about an hour it still was damp i would highly recommend waiting until the hair is completely dry to completely set now who got time for that today we gotta just get to it you know so now i'm just gonna go ahead and cut off the excess lace pay attention to the hairline and that baby hair if you thought that was too much you guys can see there really wasn't much at all it's a very very natural take on baby hair and more so just an option to kind of help to conceal or camouflage that line of demarcation between the hairline and my actual skin now we're bonding down with the even you guys know this is my favorite so far i'm actually almost out of this bottle i do think i have the black one in my drawer but i will be ordering a few more just to kind of compare and contrast all of the different colors in this line now that we're all bonded down you guys can see how beautiful the texture is how flawless the hairline and just the install and just the overall situation is i'm just going to set it off by adding a little bit of powder to the hairline as well as concealer in the parting absolutely gorgeous if i did not mention this one is 24 inches in length 180 percent density it's a curly lace wig and of course the direct link is in the description box okay love bugs so we are done with this look i have a new setup so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys um all of the packaging before i get into the actual hair so that so that i can put this stuff down but this is the packaging here you guys already know we're rocking with kalaya today and they sent us goodies on goodies on goodies so this is the box that we came in and as you guys can see inside there are some goodies this is the bag the wig was in and i like to keep this to remember what i have this is a 24 inch 13 by 4 transparent lace wig and as you guys can see obviously the texture is curly also we have some tan wig caps. We can make these work with a little foundation. And we also have a goodie bag in here that has a, um, I believe this is a bonnet, a foundation brush, a melt belt, as well as some lashes. So they definitely set you up. Also in the box, they did give us a robe. We do have this robe already. We have a few of them, so I'm not gonna open it because this is for you guys. And then also, this is what I am excited about. They gave us this little, um, this is a makeup bag so you open it up yes now as far as the hair goes let me give you guys a little quick 360 this is what the parting looks like you didn't see in the video but right before i came down here to film this part i did go ahead and just add that you know the ruby kisses palette that i had the little duo the concealer i did add a little bit here just because it was a little bit um just too dull for me i added the concealer or what did i use foundation underneath so it did have a nice tint to it and of course this isn't permanent so it'll fade if it's too bright for you or you can take like a towel or something and just kind of like rub it out now as i mentioned this is the hair here i love what we have accomplished I love how full the wig is. I love how defined the curls are. This is absolutely a beautiful one. And then the length is perfect, like once it dries. When it's soaking wet, it does come a little bit longer. But of course, you guys already know, it's gonna, you know, not shrivel up, but what is it, shrinkage? So this is what the hair looks like close up. And then this is what the hairline looks like. Now you guys seen, I did go ahead and just add some sparse baby hairs whenever I, um, style the wig on the mannequin head and I like to do that just so that you guys see how this piece is just naturally hanging and there are some more throughout but just throughout the you know duration of you wearing the wig the little pieces will naturally just kind of like fall and just be there so it's like it's a no baby hair look but I have something going on there I love the way this look this cute little target 
this cute little top came from Target. It has the nice little cutouts on the side. I have it in a size medium and I'll have it in the description box as well. It does have like the shorts that match it and then they also have a dress in the same print. Something really cute for spring and it's just kind of like, you know, a little mom vibe. But I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. You guys know I love Kalai E um, and I definitely would love it if you check out the description box on your way out. There you'll find lists and links of everything we use. I have the mannequin head there, the mousse that we use. All of the products are there and this was a heatless style. The only thing we used was the blow dryer. Well, I did cheat. I used the electric hot comb a little bit at the top, but I didn't go crazy like I typically would. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to check out Kalai E, direct link to this wig and all the details are in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.